Okay, this video is brought to you by Frida We Yay! Okay, so basically in this video, I'm going to um, walk you through how to create a um, multiple master page. All right, so basically you have to create an InDesign um, um, multiple page files here. Right? Okay, let's hit create nails, create nails, and then let's set something up here. Right? Okay, I'm going to use CM because it's pretty easy. Okay, size. Let's choose A4 in centimeters, right? Um, okay, the start uh, the start page is um, 1, right? So the page number will be like 10, okay? That is just random number that I'm coming up with. And yeah, let's hit create. Okay, now we have like 10 pages of multiple document here, okay? So, what is master page exactly like I already you know walk you through what it is okay but um, we'll go over it just again just in case that you just forget about it all right so basically whatever you put on the master page right will appear in the page down here if just take a look at the page here you can't find this panel just go to window right and find the page here okay so um, if you want to, I mean, the benefit of using master page is, of course, I mean, you don't have to repeatedly um, copy and paste some of the elements on each of the page here, okay? You know, th there might be some of the elements that you want it to be there, okay? Like um, some caption or something, right? It should be there, or some logos, right? That might be appearing in all of the pages, it depends on your project, uh, anyhow. But if you put anything on the master page, right? It will show up in um, you know typical page down here, right? So the first thing that you have to do, okay, in working with master page, okay, double click on it, right? The easiest way to work on it, just double click on it, okay, and it will lead you to master page, right? How to know, okay, whether you are in the master page or not? Just look at this highlight, this blue highlight. If it's um, that's a blue highlight around this A master here, then you're working on a master page. But if not, then you work on a typical page down here, right? Don't forget to check about that that you are in the master page mode, right? Then let's see, okay, what we can do with this master page anyway. Okay, let's insert. Um, some page number this also very important elements if you want to work on booklets books or magazine okay so basically you have to create um the text box here drag it at the corner like this right and then the next thing that you have to do i'm going to like zoom it in just a little bit so that you can see it clearly okay good okay just go to i think type here okay Go to type right and then go to insert special character here go to marker and then you know you have many options here okay but mostly if you want the page number to be exactly the same as you know the real page number then select current page number here that is pretty common right okay then the next thing okay now we have ah sorry Okay, I'm gonna zoom it out. Okay, now we have a page number here at the corner, at the bottom corner on the left page here, right? The A here. Wow. Sorry. Okay, I'm just zoom out again. Okay, now we see it. Sorry. Okay, you see the letter A in the master page. Just check on this function that you still, you know, in the master page, right? Not in the typical. Um, pages down there okay this is a this is the number right but anyhow you can see the letter a here okay don't do anything with it right let's just it will appear as a page number in typical page down there okay just copy and paste it okay just in case that you want to you know the page number in both of the pages here okay just find the right um you know place to place your um, page number on it this is just um demonstration okay it can be quick so okay that is one thing that you could do with the master page okay so let's check about um, the page number down here with the typical page down here right just double click on the page here then you can see at the corner 
okay the right corner of the first page you can see the number one here right and then you can see number two number three four five and then you know until ten here oh sorry you see it ten right okay so we have ten pages okay just check on it okay the page number is correct right you can also you know put many things in the master page whatever you like okay you can put it here even pictures anything but okay it will appear in all of the pages all right let's say um if you're going to write like a chapter one for instance okay at the right corner of this page let's say chapter one like this that's it the corner like this easy right um i mean okay i'm going to just place it on the left page right so um if it's the page on the right this text will not appear right because it's on the left master page right so let's check it okay the first page is on the right right so it shouldn't have this um chapter one in the corner nothing right just page number let's let's take a look at this one the left pages of course it's up here here right okay but sometimes you might want to delete some of this i mean this kind of like um you know words or anything that you put into the master page right will appear on you know each child or each children's page here okay so you can't make any change on them apart from just go back you have to go back to a master and then you know just change everything in the master however you might want to just change few of the elements here okay without you know change the all of the master right that you've done with the master page over there so basically what you can do okay if you use um pc then just select Control shift and then window right and you can select the one that you want to you know adjust maybe it's the color of the text maybe it's just the size of the text or if you want to delete just delete it okay it will be able to be added here it's but for it here if you don't use it then you know that if you don't use that um shortcut then it's not possible to change anything so if it's Mac, then replace window with apples right yeah i think so just shift control and command i think yeah that is for max so um to work on a multiple page okay to work on multiple master page here you can also create a new master page by just click on this you know four line here and then select new master like this okay you can give it a name okay maximum you can um, put four character here right and another thing is if you want it to contain all the property of other previous master page okay you can do that by select it okay let's say if you want all the you know like um page number to appear but you just want to make a minor change in this um, particular um, things okay let's say in this b master you might want to put the word like chapter two for instance okay but you want the page number to appear in all of the you know the spread or the page that you design then you know just select a master based on master and select you know a master like this all right so basically if you keep you know the same you know attributes or elements as a master double click it all right as you may notice here okay we have two master now okay so but down here you can see the letter a right it means that all the page here right will obtain the um you know all the information of, of the a master not the b one right so let's work on the b one now that we click on it all right so now we can't change anything in b master because this is the child of the a master right but of course um the page number is there okay it is the same thing you can also you know select and change some of the property by just select control shift command on your keyboard and click on it if you use mac and you select control shift and windows okay and then you can change some of the information here 
like this is not going to like um, you know change what you do with the master page A okay it's minor things that you do with master page B here okay the page number will be there okay and next how to use master page B basically the easiest way is just drag and drop it let's say I want all the left pages okay to be based on B master then just select it drag it okay okay let's say okay i will keep the first one right so that you see the difference between the two okay you just drag it just like this okay you can drag it in any page you like okay like this let's take a look at the real page on page number two here then we click on it okay check the page number chapter one right okay let's take a look at b master is it chapter two chapter two right this is just um you know some example how to use different master page here 